Oh sure, times are tight and you gotta free up cash, gotta spend money to make money, right? Like the time when Mr. Florini used the company MasterCard to pay for that hooker, and then she used the card numbers and stayed at the St. Reed's for, what was it, like three months? That's $50,000. That's somebody's salary. That's somebody who's gonna get fired because Craig has to pay women to fuck him. Who's gonna get fired because Craig has to women to fuck him? Who's expandable? I've been writing for this magazine for 14 years, Brad. You've been here for how long? A whole month. Oh well, let's just all sell our souls to Satan because it's more convenient that way. Looks like a long day. Hey, Pete. I'm sorry to make it longer. Bridget? Anyone's ever said no to a drink with you, Pete? Sure. The trick is to keep asking. For Boston. For Boston. So, are you here for the Cardinal? No, no. I, I wouldn't presume to speak for the Cardinal. You got a lot of people who respect you here, Robbie. Respect your work. Good to know. I mean, it's because you care about this place. It's why you do what you do. It's who you are. But the people need the church more than ever right now. You can feel it. And the Cardinal may not be perfect, but we can't throw out all the good he's doing over a few bad apples. I'm only bringing this up with you because I know this is Baron's idea. His agenda. And I gotta tell you, honest to God, I don't think he cares about the city the way we do. How could he? Isn't this how it happens around here, Pete? What's that? Suddenly the whole town leans the other way. Bobby, look. Marty Barron's just trying to make his mark. He'll be here a couple of years and then he's gonna move on. Just like he did in New York and Miami. Where are you gonna go? Pete, I'm gonna need a comment from the Cardinals. We'll talk again later. Good night, Robbie.